Good morning, welcome to another video. A daily occurrence of having to limp roll my clothes because of this guy down here. Anyway, hi. It is currently Monday the 2nd of January. So hopefully everyone had a very good New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, uh, and have set yourself some goals to achieve this year, 2023. It also marks day four since I've started my Stronger Hybrid build. If you didn't watch my last video, over the next four months, so from the beginning of January to the end of April when I start my uh, summer shredding, I'm going to see how strong I can get in three different compound lifts, back squat, bench press, and strict press, military press, whatever you want to call it, uh, just for a little bit of fun in the gym to have some goals to achieve and obtain over the next four months, obviously, as well as hypertrophy work. The goal is obviously to still be growing as well as getting strong. Yeah, obviously, I'm going to be documenting the whole process with vlogs. Hopefully, you stick along and witness me hit some PBs over the coming weeks and months. If I don't, I am an absolute weakling. Uh, it has just gone nine o'clock. I've been up for a few hours just doing some work on my laptop. I also had a bagel with some peanut butter, honey, uh, and a banana for my carb sauce for today's session, which I'm literally about to head out of the door. But before I do that, I need to go and grab my pre-workout. man. So today's pre-workout choice, I have gone for a Rain, which is my favorite canned pre-workout, is the Melon Mania, which is the best flavor. And it has BCAAs in it, aminos. I'm actually gonna do a commentary over the top of today's workout, just to explain a little bit more in detail what I'm doing, etc. See you in the gym. So today I started off with some strict press, some heavy strict press. I actually went for a one rep max uh, on this lift and I'm gonna do back squat and bench press next weekend, just so I can test the water and see where I'm at strength wise. Uh, I was going in today th hoping to hit 87 kilos on the strict press. My personal best is 95 kilos, but that was about a year ago now when I was doing more CrossFit, functional training and I was a lot more explosive uh, and stable in that overhead position so as you can see 80 kilos went up pretty quick 85 kilos was pretty smooth I'm not gonna lie it's probably a lot harder than it looked there and then I decided to go straight up to 90 so skip the 87 and as you will see in two seconds time I managed to get it it did look quite smooth, but trust me, that was quite hard. Uh, obviously trying to stay, keep my form, stay strict. A lot of people tend to use their legs a tiniest bit. Honestly, the smallest movement, you can get a little bit more out of it. Once I hit that 90 kilos, I thought um, I might try a little bit more. So I went up to 93 just because 1.5 kgs were the only ones I could find in the gym. To be honest, if I started or I did this one before the 90, I may have got it, but not today. It doesn't matter, 90 kilos was plenty for how I'm feeling strength-wise at the moment. Um, and then I just did some back off sets. I did two sets of five reps, again, sticking to that strength rep range. Two sets of five reps at 70 kilos, uh, just to finish off the strength work. Uh, I do want to quickly mention with my strict press and bench press as they have lifts that I want to hit PBs with and they fall on the same day. I am alternating between the two for strength work. So one day I'll do say a heavy strict press like today and then I'll back off and do some hypertrophy bench press alternating next week. Heavy bench, hypertrophy strict press. That was a bit of a mouthful but hopefully you understood what I was saying there. Uh, so today I did three sets of eight 
reps on the bench press, which isn't amazing. Like, well, it might be for some people, but I used to be able to rep this for, I think I did an NFL combine, see how many reps you could get on the 100 kilos. And I think I got 19, and this was just over a year ago, maybe like a year and a half ago. So hitting it for three sets of eight isn't the best, but you know I will get back to my former strength in the next couple of months. And I'm definitely, definitely gonna hit some PBs. Come April, I can assure you of that. If I don't, then something has gone horribly wrong or I'm injured. But yeah, that was the main two compounds for today, bench press and strict press. And then I backed off and did one of my new favorite exercises, which is just a chest supported lateral raise. It takes any like external movement, maybe from your legs, you can use your legs a little bit to get a bit more uh, momentum. So just using gravity, trying to control the weight the whole time. Give it a go if you haven't tried these. Four sets of 12 because this was going to be the last shoulder exercise and I want to get a bit more volume. I did one more chest exercise, uh, which I tend to alternate this exercise between different stuff like weighted dips, incline dumbbell press. So yeah, today was just a seated machine. In this was more incline than like a flat press. Uh, it doesn't really do it justice in this video, but it was definitely a lot more inclined for that upper chest. Um, again, Four sets of 12 reps or 10 to 12 reps. Lastly, I finished off with some tricep extensions. I didn't actually record it, but I superseted this with a close grip, like pyramid press up, if you can see me on the camera there, um, just to really burn out the triceps. And obviously because my triceps were pre-exhaust doing this exercise, it meant to put a lot more emphasis on my chest as well, because my triceps were pretty fried. I did four sets of 12 for both. Pyramid press ups were just until failure each set. Back to the video. The usual post workout meal nutrition. I can't actually be asked to cook some eggs up, so I'm just gonna have my lunch for brunch. I might have some eggs later on tonight instead. But I've actually lost some of the taco mints because my well, I left the mints on the side and my cat decided to eat half of them. So we are plural. cats, yes, plural. So I am mints down at the moment, but we've got 300 grams of basmati rice with lean mince meat, half of the lean mince meat, I can't talk, with chipotle mayo, and a sweet chili sauce. So this is gonna be the fuel after today's session. This meal is going to be making an appearance regularly as it's super simple to make. Maybe when it comes to the summer shredding, I will change out the rice for like a salad or actually the packets that I buy the rice in are in two sections so I could have one of them instead of two of them with some salad for a carb sauce. I need to shower, but I'm not going to because I need to head out and help <coughs> my brother with some stuff for an hour. Catch you in a bit. Please excuse the massive electric error I've got behind me here, but we have got a giant fruit bowl of gains. We've got grapes, an apple, protein yogurt, cinnamon and honey, and then you just mix it all up. The daily snack. I don't tend to snack too much because obviously my meals are a lot bigger now, so I stay fuller throughout the day, but because I am behind on my protein a little bit, when I say behind, I mean I didn't have my eggs this morning, so not really behind. As long as I'm getting my 210, 20 grams of protein a day, we are all good, but this is just gonna tie me over until probably tea time. Doubt I'll be eating anything between now and then as it's currently two o'clock. Yes. Anyway, this is where I'm going to be parked for the next couple of hours. Um, just doing a little bit of work, some editing 
as I mentioned, get on top of my editing. And I'm currently watching Max Tuning's uh, first video of the year, technically, talking about goals and what he wants to achieve this year. And it's very motivating. Food, YouTube, then I'm gonna get stuck into some work so we can chill out this evening and maybe watch a film as we haven't actually said that. We haven't watched a film at home in a little while. We watched Avatar 2 yesterday in the cinema and the film is very good. I gave it a 7.9 out of 10, I think, but it is three hours and 15 minutes long. So not a big fan of the length of the film. It kind of dragged it out a little bit, but apart from that, it was a good film. So that bit went down the wrong way. <clears throat> Catch you in a sec. <coughs> Many hours have passed since I picked up the camera. It is now six o'clock. Me and Hannah have been out for a walk uh, and just been cracking on with some work. She has been revising, but she's also cooked. I would say this is probably one of my favourite meals at the moment. Been on the channel loads. Green Thai Noki. Noki is like these little things. They're kind of like pasta, like pa uh, potato pasta in it. I can't really explain yeah, it. So we've got that and a cheeky naan bread each because I haven't, I've fallen behind on my calories today. I haven't eaten that much, so we've opted to chuck a couple naan breads in. It doesn't usually go because even though it is a green Thai curry, I guess it goes, but carbon up, getting those calories in. Look at the state of this. Oh. To be fair, appearance wise, it's probably like. Yeah, it doesn't look great, does it? A 6.57, but taste wise, it is. I would say a 9.5 out of 10. If you like curry, that is. If you don't like curry. Well, it's, it's more satay than curry, isn't it, really? I think the plan of attack now, we are just gonna watch a film. I'm not too sure which one. Apparently, The Departed is unbelievable. The reviews are like an 8.5 on IMDb, so I want to watch it. It's a very old film. Many of you have probably seen it, but and I'll give my review if it's any good. But for now, I shall tuck into this. And obviously, we are watching The Office. All day, every day. <coughs> that was absolutely fantastic. I'm feeling pretty full now though, which is unusual. I need to cook my lunches for the week. Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Got the taco mince, lean mince, 5% lean mince meat with the taco seasoning. Super simple microwave rice. Obviously, if you wanted to cook a big batch of rice, then that is your choice, but I just find it easier with the microwave meals, uh, microwave packets uh, for work. But literally, that is going to be my lunch with rice, and then I'll have like some fruits, oats in the morning, uh, and then when I get back, I can have a lot more calories but that does the job and it means I don't have to spend ridiculous amounts in Tesco's literally for the whole week it cost me about £10 for the mint and the rice oh my God. definitely not the consistency I would usually have my protein I was at, but unfortunately I've got no whey protein left. Definitely need to get some for my overnight oats. They're fine if you can put them in the fridge overnight. They set pretty hard, but we have got to finish off today's calories. Some protein golden syrup oats. These have 10 grams of protein per sachet. Um, so it must have some sort of like whey protein in it already. Although it doesn't taste very strong. Mm, not too bad. Also, some honey, <coughs> some peanut butter for extra calories, and then some jam 
just to sweeten it. Back to the film. Movie review coming up. Movie completed. The Departed. What are you rating that, Ham? Um, six out of ten. Six out of ten? Are you joking? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're actually joking. Six out of ten. That's not high. <laughs> that is not high. Right, she's watched a completely different film to me in there. I would give it a 7.8 or 9. 7.8 or 9. It is very, very good. I don't know what. It's just so. It, it was a very. It was. Yeah, but like, that's like a 7 film's like decent, like average decent. Oh, I don't know. It's very long though. Felt like the same length as Avatar. I think it's like two and a half hours, but definitely worth a watch if you haven't watched it. It's, it's an older film though, and you can tell, but it is back, back to work tomorrow. So that means I need to get my gym stuff ready for, oh, for the morning, for an early start. I'm actually, I'm looking forward to getting back into a regular routine, but Training, I train at like, just gone five, ten past five in the morning because of work. Not gonna lie, sometimes that is hard, but I only do it three days a week and then two rest days during the weekdays. Train on the weekend, so I train five days a week. I am excited to see the results come the end of April. We would have put on some size, we would have put on some strength. We will see how much strength you will see if you are subscribed, leave the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, that would be great. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.